Hey, what's going on guys? Logdad Zip here. Welcome to Big Black Island. This is a very special island theme park. Why is it so special? Well, because it's mine. It's literally my island. This is a very awesome map and game that you can get on the Minecraft marketplace right now for your bedrock worlds, aka phone, tablet, Xbox, Switch, etc. And today I'll be showing you tons of different secrets you can find on the island. Because guess what? Outside of exploring the giant blocks, there's a lot more to do on this amazing island. I, like, almost hit Ferris wheels. Anyone interested in grabbing Big Block Island for themselves should go to the main page of their Minecraft game, click the store button, then in the top right corner, click the search button, type in either Big Block Island or log.zip, and it will be one of the first search results that you can click on. From there, you can buy the game for some mine coins, ask your parents, and you'll be good to play. Or for anyone that doesn't have us, join us for today's video as we showcase some of the secrets found on the island. We'll start by showing you three amazingly secret locations on the map. We'll then show you some of the items you can grab from the shop. And finally, we'll wrap up by giving you the locations to 10 of the 30 secret emeralds found all over the island. Our first location takes us to the corner of the map, this lighthouse, which within it contains an amazingly secret parkour course. However, in order to access this parkour course, you're going to need to unlock the lighthouse door, which is currently closed and protected by an advanced lamp security system. Please do not press the lamp button next to the gold ore. Oh, you mean this one? Well, don't mind if I do. And the moment you do, you'll have two minutes to turn on all seven different lamps around the lighthouse. Here's the locations. There's one right out front. There's one right above. There's one right outside the entrance. On either side of the lighthouse over here, you'll see two more as well. One on this side, and if we make our way around, quickly remembering to grab this guy, we'll be able to grab the other one too. If you follow along, you'll hit all seven of these. No problem, baby. Here's another one right over here. Grab it. I'm like, tripping over every single possible thing I could. And I've got some wings, so that'll make this one a little bit easier to do. So now that we have hit all seven, the lighthouse is now open. And upon looking, we'll see that this door has finally become a jar. Inside, you'll be met with an extremely challenging parkour course that you'll need to make it to the very top to in order to access a unique item that you'll want to have on Big Block Island. But for those of you that end up getting yourself some wings, aka an elytra and some fireworks, <laughs> you can skip most of this. Check it out. Up we go. Not bad. All the way to the top. Well, <laughs> mostly. Tons of jumps, ladders, trap doors that, oh boy. I mean, you've essentially got it all. We even have a button right here, and that will signify that you've essentially beaten the parkour because you pretty much have. Right at the top here, we've got plutonium rods. All you need is one, but the moment you grab it, witness as you've got some awesome new changes to your abilities. Namely, you can move across the island at an insane run speed. This will make traveling around Big Block Island that much easier. As much as I'd like to show you our next area off next, the hidden mansion, we are not yet fully prepared to go inside because the moment we try to, we will be killed essentially instantly. So we're gonna need some extra tools before we can explore inside. And the most daring of explorers will find their way inside because you'll have explored most of the map looking for these rare emeralds. And the moment you explore over here, you'll find a lovely little secret. Not only will you find one of the redstone keys needed to give to Professor Rossforp to open the redstone block and beat Big Block Island. Ah, uh, so lovely sounding. But you'll note that there's something a little more special about this this specific rock. Make your way around to the side of the rock and find yourself what looks to be some kind of stone bricks. Well, there's good reason for them. Once you find those stone bricks, head over to the other side of the stone, look for some wood, and notice a slightly hidden lever. Did you hear that? Something just opened. Remember those stone bricks we were just talking about? Yeah, we'll ignore them completely because the actual entrance is on this side over here. You'll be met with an underground temple of sorts where you'll be able to find some more information about Big Block as well as potentially certain death. Can't believe we just dodged all those arrows. That was fantastic. Inside is a wither skeleton armor stand with a book that you can grab if you're not horrible at right-clicking on these guys. There's the book. Thank you so much. We have entries 
Trees by Ross Ford. You see, I found a new way to enchant armor with wither immunity, etc, etc, etc. More of an Easter egg over anything else. However, you'll also know that there are some boots on this guy. If you wear those boots, you'll see that they are very hard to read, but they are called wither boots. In the dispenser right next to this armor stand, you'll find plenty more wither boots, as well as an emerald, a wither skeleton skull, and a copy of the book that we just threw into lava. Don't worry, I'm consistent. But we have our boots now, and we have our plutonium rod. So, let's take to the skies and head right on back over to this mansion, which we will now be able to get inside of to show you one of the final secret places that you can see in game. And it's not even the final one. We just don't have time for all of them in this video. And if I gave you all the secrets, you wouldn't buy the map. Go buy it. <laughs> Welcome to the mansion. This area is contaminated. You will need special gear to cross unharmed. There's a challenge here which requires you to find 10 glowstone dust in 10 shulker boxes. You must find this glowstone in under two minutes. In doing so, you'll be given a small reward. It may take a few attempts to find all 10, but once you know their place, the rewards are yours. No, you'll only get the reward one time or time. And so assuming you have your wither boots on, you can walk right on inside now, and that wither effect will do nothing to you. But you'll still need to press this button outside to begin the challenge, and begun it has. Collect 10 glowstone. You have two minutes, and you'll need to find every single shulker box that has been placed around the mansion, and the moment you have your 10 glowstone, you'll be able to get a nice reward. Don't blink, it's time to show you all 10 of these. Two minutes, you have to be very fast to get them all. Two of them are downstairs right away. You can't really miss them, but once you've grabbed them, haha, <laughs> carry on. Up to the next floor, you'll start to see these, oh boy, you'll start to see these shulker boxes popping up everywhere. It's a good sign. You'll miss them, trust me. They don't start appearing as commonly as they do down here later on. Make your way all the way up these stairs. Grab another one right there really quick. We are now halfway done already with everything we need to find here. Check this out. We've got one on the ledge right there. Fantastic. We're at six so far. If you make your way all the way out here, you'll find number seven as well. Go ahead and turn back around and get up those stairs as fast as you possibly can. Out here, there's none. I forgot. <laughs> but what you'll want to do is make sure to take notice of this area right over here. It's opposite of the ladder. You'll go ahead and find another guy right there. Beautiful. We're going to go ahead and find our way up these ladders as well. And you'll see that <laughs> even I have trouble remembering where all of them go. Here's number nine. You already grab that guy. And then the final one is going to be very close to reaching. It's all the way at the top of the mansion. I know we're close on this two minutes, baby. There you are! Beautiful! We got all ten. Fantastic. Now we just wait for time to finish up and we will get our prize. So for all ten glowstone, we get two gold ingots for completing the mansion challenge, which we can use to buy some goodies. So we're here at the giant chest to access the shop on Big Block Island and we gave ourselves a whole bunch of iron, gold, and diamond to show you off every single thing you can get. We should start right over here with Bank of Awesome Deposits where the ender chests are. You'll find a lot of ender chests all over the map that you can use to instantly put all of your goodies within. You can trade this gentleman right here to change your currency from nuggets over to ingots, from more nuggets over to ingots. You can change iron into gold, gold into diamond, and 30 diamonds into emerald, which means, remember that emerald we saw earlier inside the stone? Pretty valuable. Let's start with Gadget Girl Gabby over by Gadgets, What's It's, Wowzers, and Wonders. From this person, you can get an elytra for 32 diamonds. Four iron ingots will get you drumstick, five diamonds will get you rabbitzilla, and three diamonds will get you Ross Forbes Teddy. Some say it might give you a second chance if you hold it when you die. Huh? What was that? Professors around here somewhere? So if you want to fly around like you've been seeing me do all video, <laughs> make sure you start saving your diamonds. Here's a summoning in drumstick. What's good, baby? Uh, uh, where, where? Uh, we're just gonna let him do his thing. We got Rabbitzilla right here. Hi, Rabbitzilla. You're my friend. I love you. Oh, it won't let me punch you. Well, that probably makes sense. It's a nice big pet rabbit, and he'll follow you around because he loves you. Or maybe he wants to eat you. I haven't determined yet. You <laughs> One or the other. Next up is Radical Rob's Assorted Clothing Emporium. Nice. And we also have Radical Rob's friend. Radical Rob's... I guess, are they... Okay, I guess they're both named Radical Rob. But this one's got lab equipment. Nice. One diamond for lab goggles. One diamond for lab coat. What else we got? We got some more lab goodies over here. Yeah, 
one diamond for lab pants. And heck, we even got one diamond for lab shoes. You can also buy what appears to be poo. Oh, it's cocoa beans. Oh, I see. These are all the different dye options you have to dye your lab coats. Here's what the lab outfit looks like. Or you can use your goods to buy a creeper head. You can use it to buy a paper bag. Paper bags are cheap. You'll only need one iron ingot to use for some nuggets in order to buy this paper bag. You can also buy a cactus helmet, a magma chest plate, a redstone chest plate, fancy pants, ooh, prismarine boots, Daniel's white kicks, dang Daniel, or even rainbow leggings yo yo I look yo I look yo I look good maybe the creeper helmets better actually on second thought kind of digging this paper bag nice yo seriously fancy next shop is pointy things an armor that protects against pointy things use this for cactus combat block you see you can use it to get some nice sword upgrades iron sword we've got diamond sword this one costs lots of oh, diamonds it just gets better and better you got a bow up in here for it love it we got ourselves some arrows to. You can even use the arrows to play another secret mini game that we're not even going to tell you about in this video. Sorry. I want y'all to be able to have some fun on your own exploring some of these things and finding them out for yourselves. But I guess I can give you a hint. It has something to do with a toy panda. Bow and arrow and toy panda. See if y'all can guess what's going on. That's everything you can get from this shop. We've got speedy splashes and other potent potions. You can see potion seller will give us a potion of leaping for four gold ingots. Two diamonds gives us a better one. Two iron ingots gives us swiftness. We've got two iron ingots to give us a better one. We've got three gold ingots for regen. Lingering potions of regen. You see, this is why you save up all your goodies. A lot of those potions will make it extremely easy to beat certain blocks, which you need to do in order to get the keys to beat the game. You can take some of the combat gear you purchased over to Uncle Eric's ultimate upgrades, and as you can see here, Eric and Derek will meet your needs. Turn the sword you just bought into an even greater sword. This will be amazing in order for you to beat the cactus block and potentially get a prize at the end of it. Although I think you guys get the idea. I'm not going to buy all of these things. You can kind of see how it works. One sells weapons, one sells armor armor. You dig? It's all coming together now. Final shop, Sweet Souvenirs. Courtesy of the souvenir shop owner, you can get a slime pop. This is useful as a weapon, but mostly to show off. You've also got a shiny, slimy ball. Great use of two gold ingots, might I just say. You can grab yourselves a TNT mug because, hey, why not? You can get a balloon. Everybody loves balloons. Come on. Or for a diamond, you can get your hands on a miniature cactus. Now, these are just souvenirs. So, for the most part, they're all for fun. They're fun little things to collect. You know, a collect them all scenario. Everybody loves those. And a couple of them have some cool looks as well. Shiny, slimy ball. Lovely. And a balloon. Whoa, tiniest balloon. Kind of looks like a spoon. <laughs> there is one final thing I guess I could tell you all about. Hidden in the very back corner of the shop is another special villager who will sell you hints for redstone keys. If you're having trouble finding where to get all the different keys, you can pay five diamonds for a hint for key one, key two, three, four, five, etc. Now, you'll actually get nine, ten, eleven, and twelve all for the price of fifteen. So you save five diamonds on that. It's not bad. But now, my friends, we wrap up the video by showing you 10 special secret locations of these different emeralds you can find all across Big Block Island. Hi. Oh, oh, he's trying to attack me. Yo, we're out of here, dude. Get the heck away from me, Rabbitzilla. Number one is actually on one of the balconies in this redstone mansion that we saw earlier on. Number two is inside the giant TNT. You'll have to use the cannon to fly over this side and find yourself another emerald block. You don't need to fly to get there, by the way. I just, I happen to have wings. I like using them. <laughs> Number three is on this beach. You can see the specific coordinates in the top left of the screen. Carry on down the coast and you'll find emerald block number four hanging out on its own little sandbar. Number five is located up a ladder in the giant crafting table. You'll have to find the exact entrance on your own. You'll find emerald block number six waiting in line near the Ferris wheel. Hey, buddy. You think I didn't catch ya? Number seven is near the lighthouse, which has more secrets than just redstone lamps, apparently. Number eight's not too far off. Just on the opposite side, find another emerald. Number nine is found with inside the giant cactus block. And once you're inside, you can go ahead and peer over the edge there and see an emerald block just waiting for you to find it. And emerald block number 10 of 30 takes us back to the shop where you'll have to sneakily find a way into this abandoned shop where you can see at the top is the final emerald that we're showing off in today's video. 
Can you find all 30? If you do, you get a very special prize. Now, how do I get out of here? Either way, my friends, I hope you've enjoyed all of the different secrets that Big Block Island has to offer. And this isn't even the half of it. Well, <laughs> it might be about half. Either way, you can grab Big Block Island for yourself on the Minecraft Marketplace. Like I said, if you want to find out more, go to the store on Bedrock Edition, aka the phone, tablet, switch, Xbox, all that. You, get, you see, you search Big Block Island, right, 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 and then you find it. And and then you download it or you make your parents buy you, you know, one of those two things. I hope you enjoyed Big Block Island. It was made by yours truly, teamlog.zip, as well as Pathway Studios. More information on it in the description of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day and enjoy Big Block Island. See you later.